We're off to GT Bank now, and the manager and director, John Thomas Atta John, has disclosed that the bank has met the minimal capital requirements set by the Bank of Ghana a month ahead of the deadline, which is in December. In interaction with Joy Business's Peter Nanfuri, he disclosed that though the minimum capital requirement is important, other fundamentals of a bank like liquidity position and non performing loans ratio should be in place. You know, there's this saying you've not published, you want to confirm it and print it on the papers if you've read it. <laughs> uh, the minimum capital, which seems to be the only song in the market yeah, today. It's true. The, the, the only place. song in the market today. And what I tell most people that ask me, why, why don't you want to publish? I tell them that our customers know us. They know we are a sound bank. We are very good at what we do. And for us, we don't define our being good by meeting the minimum capital environment. We believe it's a given. And that it's a good thing that BOG has put that in place because it's no harm, there's no harm if a bank has the capacity to do more, we get big get transaction. We can only get better. Mm -hmm. So if tomorrow they insist that they still want me to put it on the pages of the newspaper, you do that for them. I'll do that for them. But I, like I would tell them always, the minimum capital is not what makes the bank or a bank the best place to put your money in. Okay. You check fundamentals like liquidity, is it good? What is the MPA ratio? Is it within regulatory expectation? Is it a bank that can meet your obligations when you want to? Those are some of the considerations you look for. He added that the bank will hold on to branch expansion as they scale up the electronic banking channels. This will, however, be done in a way that will not disadvantage customers who adapt to technology slowly. We also, we also got into the point where, you know, you can't be in Ghana and not do mobile money. Yeah. So we have also linked the mobile money uh, suit of products to, to Star 737. So the Star 737 is kind of a banking suit that's being developed to take care of the end-to-end -end needs of all our customers. Outside this, we are also trying to come on board, though it's not open yet, so I cannot uh, say, say much about it. We also realize the fact that in the in the near future, even though we are not there yet, they will have the capabilities in-house. Predictive capability of the bank will be what will be the selling point for us. We are able to effectively see the customer expense per pattern, to cast effectively what the customer needs to be in the future, possibly incorporate all the customer needs from where we sit. So our predictive capabilities that will be developed in-house, we are trying to put them in some products that will help push the GT Bank name more into the market. Mm -hmm. And a time will come where really GT Bank will not be about the branch you go to, but GT Bank will be everywhere. And we are getting there. Now, there are certain products which have been developed. Like I mentioned earlier, I can't say yet because our regulator needs to give. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. Give, to, give the approval. <laughs> yes, yeah. I mentioned it that we may get into trouble. <laughs> so, but the end point where we see ourselves um, today. In terms of in-house technology capability, we are just at 5% of what we can offer to the Ghanaian market. It's there. So we are beginning to roll them out gradually. Okay. And we believe at the end of the day, both the market, the bank, it will be a win-win situation for us. So truly, we are going to go each channel, or we are in each channel already, each channel drive already, is now to scale up. Okay. Which is why we are not likely to expand our fiscal branches in the near term. Instead, we'll be everywhere more. You'll see us in the electronic space but fiscally you may not. And we're also mindful of the fact that there are some die-hard customers mm -hmm. that want to see their cash. Exactly. So in some certain locations, we expand existing branches to accommodate such customers. We'll try to put some um, level automation in the process. Like today, you walk into our branch, you don't need to feel a teller to pay in your money. Though there are some customers that find that strange, they still insist on taking something away from the branch. So we'll give them a piece of paper, we'll put all the details for them. So we are not going to shut down the normal branch um, experience. We are just going to enhance it. So there'll be more on inflation and Kelney GVG and the telcos, you know, um, battle as well. We inch towards the budget as well. Um, on Thursday, Manuel Abuaji will bring you a mix at 1 p.m. My name is Odilian Tiamwa.